Welcome family and friends. Thank you for joining us on this special day. We have come together in the presence of God to witness and to bless this union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and the covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and the Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and his first miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church and Holy Scripture commends marriage to be honored among all people. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Wonderful. Trey, please take your bride's hand and step forward and please remain standing as, as we pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your kindness expressed to us this day. Lord, thank you for Trey and Megan. We acknowledge your sovereignty and your providence in bringing them together. And we pray your blessing on them right now, this day, and on their marriage. Lord, we, we commit them to you and the word of your grace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Trey, will you have Megan to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? I will. Wonderful. Excellent. <laughs> Megan. Will you have Trey to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him as long as you both shall live? I will. Wonderful. Revelation chapter 21 verses 1 through 5 reads the following. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Now, this passage in Revelation depicts a day that's coming when the entire created order will be completely renewed in the glory of its creator. It speaks of the beauty of heaven, where God himself will dwell forever in unhindered fellowship with his people. And amazingly, that day is pictured for us as a wedding. Many people aren't aware of this, but the Bible actually begins and ends with a wedding. It begins with creation, and it ends with a new creation. And in that creation, there is a wedding, and then in that new creation, there is a wedding. So marriage is not just one theme in the Bible, but in some way, a comprehensive beginning and ending theme of the Bible. Genesis chapter 2 records the marriage of the first man and the first woman in the Garden of Eden. And here's what the ancient text reads. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. That's Genesis 2, 24. And one flesh implies a total sharing of all things 
in this mortal life. Later in the New Testament, the writer of Ephesians quotes this verse in Genesis and states the following, this mystery is profound and I'm saying that it refers to Christ and the church. So, marriage is a mystery. Many of us know that already. <laughs> but in some mysterious way, the institution of marriage sits at the center of what God wants to say to the entire human race. The Bible is a love story. And Jesus is the ultimate groom, and his people are the ultimate bride, and our marriages are in some way a prophetic whisper of an ultimate romance. God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to live the perfect life that we could never live and to die a substitutionary death on the cross of Calvary under the wrath of God that we deserve to die taking the punishment that we deserve for our sins so that all who trust in him could be forgiven of their sins and granted the gift of eternal life, life forever. That's the gospel and that's what marriage points to. So Hebrews 13, 4 says marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed kept undefiled. So Trey and Megan your marriage is sacred, and it's worthy of, of reverence. It's worthy of honor. It's worth fighting for. And with God's help, there's hope for your future. Um, and that passage in Revelation is so helpful for us because you'll find out and discover, if you haven't already, that um, relationships are hard. Marriage is going to be difficult and there's going to be moments where you fail one another where you sin against one another and you're going to need hope in those moments and in Revelation what scripture tells us is that the day is coming when God will right every wrong and God will reverse the curse caused by human sin and on that day, all sorrow and sickness and pain and suffering and sin and injustice, even death itself, will be eradicated forever. And those who've trusted in Christ will live eternally. So I just want to encourage you. I believe God is in the institution of marriage. That God is with you. And if you turn and look to him, he will give you grace in your marriage for the future, there's hope. And we're all honored to celebrate God's gift of marriage together with you. And so at this time, Trey and Megan are going to join together in the exchange of vows. And this is a holy moment. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So Trey, repeat after me. I, Trey, take you, Megan. I, Trey, take you, Megan. To be my wedded wife. Be you guys can turn wife. towards each other. <laughs> I feel like I should help Craig this. <laughs> sure. Yes. <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I pledge to you my love. I pledge to you my love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Wonderful. Megan, repeat after me. I, Megan, take you, Trey. I, Megan, take you, Trey. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I pledge to you my love. I pledge to you my love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Wonderful. Now the rings that Trey and Megan are 
will exchange at this time are a symbol of the covenant that God forms between them today. And these rings will serve as a constant reminder of the vows that they have, are making to one another on their wedding day. So may I have the bride's ring, please. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So Trey, place this ring on Megan's finger and repeat after me. Megan, I give you this ring. Megan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. May I have the groom's ring, please. Beautiful. Megan, please place this ring on Trey's finger and repeat after me. Trey, I give you this ring. Trey, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Excellent. Please join with me now at this point. I want to just pray for this couple. And I uh, believe God hears and answers prayer. And want to pray for them and pray uh, a prayer of blessing over them. So if you would, please bow your head with me and let's, let's pray for them. Eternal God, marriage came not from earth, but from heaven. You've set it in creation as an emblem of love, a school to learn, a home to share, a ward to heal, a cross to bear, a mirror to reflect your infinite grace to a people distinguished only by our drift. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would command a blessing for Trey and Megan. Give them enough tears to keep them tender, enough weakness to make them wise, enough need to know dependence, enough wonder to keep them watching, and enough sight to see the hidden hand of providence in both prosperity and adversity. Grant them light moments, moderate liberties, and hardworking souls for your glory. Give them fair praise, gracious words, good friends, glad hearts, and great sex. Bestow upon them, O oh, magnificent God, souls that pulse always for you and only for each other. And as their hair grays and their eyes grow dim, may they be found then as now, hands clasped, fingers enfolded, attending each other and anticipating a homecoming to heaven. This we ask through Jesus Christ, the great rock of our salvation. Amen. Amen. Numbers 6. The Lord bless you and keep you, and the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Whom therefore the Lord has joined together, let no man separate. So Trey and Megan, as you have declared these promises before God and this congregation of witnesses through the exchange of vows with the authority vested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Trey, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Wonderful. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I now present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Trey Stewart.
thank you all for joining us. Uh, everyone is, is invited now to the patio for hors d'oeuvres while they flip the room for the reception. Thank you. God bless you. You are dismissed. Thank <laughs> you.